cities have risen and fallen over the centuries. Today, the crisis is very different. Increasing population is forcing rural to urban migration and the cities are swelling beyond their capacities. 55% of the world's population is concentrated in cities and that number is expected to rise to a staggering 68% by 2050. As one of the most populous countries in the world, India needs to address the challenges of creating and maintaining cities that are sustainable, smart and healthy. Further, in order to promote manufacturing, there is a need to create state-of-the-art plug-and-play infrastructure which can match global standards and thus attract industries to set up their base. The Industrial Corridor Project is a pioneering solution for India's development crisis. It will effectively tackle the wide-ranging issues for employment, industrialization, manufacturing, sustainability and urbanization. As one of India's largest infrastructure projects, with a proposed $100 billion investment, with an aim to provide world-class sustainable infrastructure for promoting manufacturing and industrialization, one of the immediate objectives of the Industrial Corridor project is to offer a robust transportation-led plug-and-play industrial ecosystem which will give a boost to manufacturing and provide more and more employment opportunities. The project has been de-risked with all the clearances in place, making it easy for investors to set up their manufacturing units and improving process competitiveness by providing the best-in-class industrial ecosystem. This dream is being scripted in the heartland of India and it starts with the aim of unhindered last mile connectivity. The dedicated freight corridor is the artery for a whole new industrial ecosystem connecting greenfield manufacturing hubs and smart cities on the western side. India's vast rail network of 1 lakh kilometers has enabled the movement of goods and people through history. The next few decades in India will see a migration that will move away from the existing metros and will also lead to modal shift in the transportation of goods from road to rail. The project will attract people from rural areas to these greenfield cities in search of a better life and job prospects. By fostering professional knowledge and training skills among rural migrant and urban poor, the regional population will be diffused along the length of the corridor, thereby easing pressure on urban resource and enabling inclusive growth. The 3,300 km long dedicated freight corridor is a roadmap for the future that will connect the different smart cities across the country with ports and other manufacturing hubs. The Delhi-Mumbai Industrial Corridor or DMIC will be connected by a 1,500 km long Western DFC. It is a project that will usher in a new era of GDP growth and development in the country. The underlying idea is to optimize the employment potential of the region by stimulating investments in manufacturing, promote overall economic development through creation of high-quality infrastructure. Transit-oriented development will ensure promotion of walk-to-work concept connectivity to end consumers and users and reduce logistics costs thus improving the manufacturing competitiveness of India in long run. New greenfield industrial cities are being built in the dusty heartlands of India. These smart industrial cities of tomorrow start at ground zero. Once complete, they will carry India into a new era of development. These smart industrial cities are templates for a future-ready India and will mark its rise on the global stage. Manufacturing hubs are the building blocks around which the rest of the city will develop organically. 
This will eventually give lead to a mixed-use development with commercial and residential settlements. The four cities in the first phase of development include Tolera Special Investment Region in Gujarat, Aurangabad Industrial City in Maharashtra, Integrated Industrial Township Vikram Udyogpuri near Ujjain Madhya Pradesh, Integrated Industrial Township Project in Greater Noida, Uttar Pradesh. From planning to execution, sustainability is the keystone of each greenfield industrial city. The aim is to get everything benchmarked against the world's best. The plan is to construct roads, underground utilities, treatment plants, administrative buildings in a sustainable and eco-friendly manner using latest technology at par with global standards. Across the world, while the city above ground has grown and changed, it is the city below that remains the biggest challenge. New cities are defined by cutting-edge utility network and template for this lies in the underground planning. Ease of doing business in these smart industrial cities will be facilitated by efficient energy and communication solutions. High voltage electrical trenches, a city-wide Wi-Fi and fiber-based network will ensure cost-efficient power and high-speed internet. Drains and sewage lines are designed keeping in mind rising sea levels. Generally what happens in other cities is that every time what they have to maintain, they have to dig up that particular road, they have to cut the BC, again they have to backfill, again they have to do the bituminous layer. So all those things will be avoided, they have been well thought of. And at one single point, all the plot owners will be getting a lot of access to multiple utilities. If you see in this road itself, we are seeing multiple utilities at the back. These are the chambers. Uh, we have basically stormwater drain, that is one huge uh, duct. We have the power duct. We have the communication duct, then we have the portable water networks, then we have the recycle networks, then we have the industrial effluent networks, and then we have the sewerage networks. So basically, I think eight uh, to nine networks, ducts under the roads at one point. So the service providers will just have access to uh, the uh, ICT chambers. They have to just open the lid from the top and they can do their entire cabling, their maintenance. So there will be no uh, digging further for any service provider who wants to provide that, uh, services to this uh, particular area. One such utility is water. Water is one of our most valuable resources and one that is fast running out. And self-sufficiency in water management is one of the biggest solutions offered by these smart industrial cities. Now here we are also using a sustainable uh, development in the sense that the entire water wastage which generally happens in cities will be reduced here because we are going for a complete water leakage uh, management system. This storm water drain network will be taking the entire rainwater discharge to the canal which will be man-made by us. Water is a renewable resource. Most of the wastewater will be recycled and will be used for non-portable purposes like landscaping, cleaning, washing, etc. All utilities including water are controlled via a central SCADA system and everything is mapped on a single grid and will be managed, controlled and monitored by a central command and control center. The information, this is uh, censored totally by uh, level uh, transmitters, your level sensors, your flow meters, your pressure transmitters, all will be fitted on this line. So all those sensors will send their uh, signals to a central command center. And all the uh, other areas are also connected with that command center. So water treatment plant, whatever water inflow will be there, there can be uh, watched at a single point by a single person in a screen. A central command and control center will allow 24 by 7 monitoring and uninterrupted supervision of urban civic utilities in an integrated manner. A plug and play existence will improve the happiness index of residents as well as facilitate setting up of new businesses. Maybe it may be a paper mill or a railway coach factory or any other factory. They will also be getting access to all the utilities at a single point. Piled garbage clogged drains and rivers and overall waste management is one of the biggest challenges today. 
the use of advanced technology to handle waste collection and disposal in these smart industrial cities addresses all these issues through its intelligent design and meticulous planning. This uh, place is Central Waste Handling Facility. The total waste which collected from uh, all the plots that will be collected over here through 508 mm MOS pipe and it will come over through that pipe and it will get diverted into two fractions like uh, wet and dry. So once we throw the waste on the dry waste, it will detect that one, this is dry waste and that will be that signal will be we will get in our central handle facility in the near future there'll be no need for physical collection and overground transportation of garbage all the waste will be directly suctioned through vacuum pipes segregated for wet and dry waste this will be transported directly to a central handling facility for recycling and further processing so ye vacuum nahi hai to hamara system nahi hai so we have five fans over here uh, by our SCADA system, it will detect uh, how distance it is and all. And accordingly, these fans will work and it will create the vacuum inside the pipe. The dry waste will be segregated and sent for recycling. The recycled byproducts can also help generate some extra income. The wet waste will go to the biomethanation plant, where the organic garbage will be converted into biogas, which in turn can be used for electricity generation and a very small percentage of the mixed waste will be sent to the landfills. All the infrastructural support system in these smart industrial cities is created with the purpose of ramping up industrial development and growth. The idea is to identify existing gaps in Indian cities to develop something that is far more effective. These smart cities will mark the convergence of new generation technologies with infrastructure and industrial development. Every smart city's development story is one that carries its various stakeholders. From the high value industrial investors to the small farmers. These success stories are tied to the land and how it was pooled to build this city. शहर बना तो अमे फायदा घना फायदा शुरू थी गया एक तो अमरा आडो बंद खारू पानी पे आत दरिया पे अटक दीद खारू पानी बहुत पीवा लायक तो नहीं साहब तो रिलेशनशीप बिटवीन एंड इज लैंड इज डीपली इमोशनल it is a bond that has been created over generations and decades tilling the same patch of earth the first and the biggest challenge was to convince the farmers to give up a portion of their land and become stakeholders in the smart city that would be developed here chotu bhai was an ordinary farmer in a village near dolera he claims that his success story is tied to how he pooled his land for the building of this smart city when the rains failed most villagers would have to trek to the cities in search of daily wages despite owning many bighas of land the yield was just about enough 
टू सपोर्ट द नीड्स ऑफ द फैमिली आठ साल पहले इस गांव में एक भी मकान पक्का नहीं था आठ साल पहले बहुत परेशानी थी सब पीने का पानी नहीं मिलता था पूरा गांव में पीने का पानी दो साल पहले इस गांव में नर्मदा का पानी गवर्नमेंट ने दो साल पहले दिया आज चौबीस घंटा पानी मिलता है दो साल से पहले तो पीने का पानी था ही नहीं एक एक दो दो महीने हमारे ये दादा पड़दादा के हमें तीन तीन महीने हमें नहाते थे ये पंद्रह हजार लीटर का टैंक है ये, ये भर लेते पर पानी का तो बहुत सुख हो गया है आज के दिन दो वर्ष से पूरा पानी चौबीस घंटा गवर्नमेंट ने दिया है पहले फ्रिज नहीं था <laughs> यहाँ हमारा पचास टका जमीन के ऊपर पानी देगी गवर्नमेंट लाइट देगी रोड देगी गटर लाइन देगी और गैस लाइन देगी उसका पैसा गवर्नमेंट एक पैसा लेने वाले नहीं है छोटू भाई बेली मेड इट टू मिडिल स्कूल ही सीज pulling his land for the dolera smart city project has changed his life forever padaro sir aaiye ye hamara office hai dolera project jo hua na sir sir uske baad ye sab hua hai pehle kuch nahi tha maine bhi mazduri bahut ki hai mitti ka maine bahut kiya hai पूरा ये टाल पड़ गया है मैं हमारे पास जमीन तो बहुत थी साहब पर इसके दाम नहीं था 2009 में ये प्रोजेक्ट साहब आया ने बाद में यहाँ जमीन का रातों रात 24 घंटे में 25 गुना हो गया यहाँ एक लाख रुपया था डेवलप नहीं हुआ था उस टाइम पे आज के दिन 15 लाख रुपया बीघे का है एक्टिवेशन जोन में हमारी नज़र के सामने है तो वो पैसा आया नहीं तो पहले हमने तो एक बेग पहले अच्छा घर बना हो यहाँ पहले मिट्टी का मकान था मेरा इसमें आधा पैसा गवर्नमेंट ने मुझे दिया उस टाइम पे मेरे पास भी कुछ नहीं था तो ये गवर्नमेंट ने आधा पैसा दिया था आधा पैसा मैंने पैसे खेत बेच के ये घर बनाए और बच्चों को पढ़ाए टूडे छोटू भाई चिल्ड्रेन फर्दर स्टडीज इन दिटी and have hope of finding future employment in the new industries that have been set up atare dawa par puri diya se bajaye le pa imla bhai hamara bhai ki nahi kya tha imla bhai ko aise bhi bhagwan hai just like chotu bhai's family many farmers belonging to the surrounding villages have newer opportunities today these smart cities are trying to create a progressive template the idea is to better lives from that of an ordinary laborer to a ceo each project is aiming to set new standards for the safety and living of their workers with prefabricated housing and proper food water and sanitation pehle na sheti kaam karte to sheti tun paise evde milat nahti 50000 beta je pan te kharcha bhar jet hota evde bhagat nahti nantar mang company laglo company ta 8500 payment bhet lagle कंपनी गए अपना फायदा हो घू शक भविष्य मनु मी डी एम आई सीत गलो आ कंपनी जाऊन ये जॉब धरन एक अस काम के नर मग घर बन छोटा शतक अपन तीन एकर है फमीन अपने पर विचार कम बैंक लोन दल घर कहीं ना तो ये आम वाटत भी ना तो स्वप्न ना होता सर ये सब ये तो ऐसे बड़े बनेंगे ऐसा हो जाएंगे ये अपने को कुछ नहीं था लेकिन हो गए नसीब से नसीब अच्छा है इसलिए हो रहा फ्रॉम कंस्ट्रक्शन वर्कर्स टू टेक्नीशियंस एंड अदर सपोर्ट स्टाफ देयर आर अ प्लेथोर ऑफ जॉब्स व्हिच विल गेट क्रिएटेड एंड वन दैट द लोकल इकॉनमी कैन ग्रेटली बेनिफिट फ्रॉम हमने दिखाई दे रहा है आने वाला समय हमारे बच्चों के लिए बहुत अच्छा है हमने हमारा वैल्यू है तो पूर्व में वैल्यू ने जिंदगी जीवन की कई खबर नहीं पड़ती बे बे तो अपना भणा यार हमारी हाथ वाले उम्र थे बराबर साहब पर हमने यू लगे हमारी प्रजा कई कर विकास कर कई जिंदगी जीवसे हारी एवं सौ टका